An ambitious new aircraft program from Russia is about to shake up the aviation industry, not just with its size, but with a bold declaration, not afraid to go head-to-head -head with any Western rival. This is the Il-96 40,000M, the new pride of Russia's aviation industry. Some even predict that this aircraft could serve as a springboard to restore Russia's role as a leader in modern aviation. But why is Russia so confident in this aircraft? And how could it possibly take on giants like the 777X and A350? Let's deep dive in. The Russian government is launching a bold strategic move with its new Il-96 program, the Il-96-400M, an upgraded version far superior to its predecessor, the Il-96-300. Reports on the resumption of Il-96 production in the 400M configuration, alongside the joint Russian-Chinese development of the long-range widebody CR-929, began surfacing almost simultaneously around 2014. 2015. On September 2016, during an inspection visit to the Voronezh aircraft plant, Deputy Prime Minister Dmitry Rogozin stated that the Il-96 400M would serve as the backbone of Russia's long-haul fleet until the CR-929 becomes operational, approximately by 2027. The aircraft is expected to effectively operate on long-haul routes to the Russian Far East, as well as on charter flights to tourist destinations in Asia and North Africa, where high-capacity wide-body aircraft are essential. Notably, according to domestic sources, the Russian government has officially announced a series of extensive upgrades for this aircraft drawing lessons from previous generations. These improvements are expected to make it the most advanced and powerful Russian aircraft ever built, fully capable of going head-to-head -head with any foreign passenger aircraft in its class. So what makes the Il-96 40,000M a serious threat to Western aircraft? The answer lies in the core of any aircraft's performance, the engine. In a bold move, the Il-96 40,000M is planned to be equipped with two next-generation PD-35 turbofan engines, boasting immense thrust, replacing the outdated four-engine PS-90A layout from the variant 300. This isn't just a technical upgrade, it's a complete revolution in flight performance, as competitors like the Boeing 777X and Airbus A350 dominate the skies with only two powerful engines, this Russian aircraft is now ready to join the game with a new weapon. Superior efficiency, lower operating costs, and extended range. But it's not just about power. With this aircraft, the aviation industry is also more environmentally conscious. Thanks to its lower fuel consumption, it promises a significant reduction in carbon emissions, a major advantage in an era where the global aviation industry is under more pressure than ever to meet strict environmental standards. An Il-96 40,000M, powered by twin PD-35, is not just a step forward, it could be the breakthrough Russia needs to reposition itself in the global aviation arena. But is that enough to make this aircraft a true game changer? Wait up! Thanks for sticking around until the end. Show your support by hitting like, sharing, and don't forget to subscribe to get notified about our super interesting videos. Thanks a lot. Without a doubt, the Variant 400M is far more than just a stretched version of the original Il-96. It marks a major leap in both design philosophy and technological advancement. With an extended fuselage nearly 10 meters longer, this aircraft can carry up to 436 passengers in an all-economy configuration, maximizing seating capacity per flight and giving airlines a competitive edge in operational cost. Aerodynamically, the redesigned wings reduce drag, improve flight performance, and boost fuel efficiency, three critical factors for any wide-body jet operating on long-haul routes. The airframe has also been fine-tuned to optimize airflow, extending range without increasing costs. Moreover, inside the cockpit, Pilots will benefit from a new generation avionics suite, featuring a fully digital cockpit more precise controls, and advanced navigation systems to ensure safe and accurate operation in all weather conditions. And the passenger cabin is where the Il-96 400M truly showcases the fusion of industrial power and service-driven design. The interior is more spacious, overhead bins are larger, and the upgraded in-flight entertainment system delivers a more comfortable, 
and enjoyable flying experience. With flexible cabin configuration options, from full economy to premium business class, this aircraft is well positioned to become a strategic asset for any airline seeking distinction in an increasingly competitive market. Strategically, the development of the Il-96 40,000M also reflects Russia's spirit of self-reliance and ambition for technological independence. In the face of tightening Western sanctions, having a domestically produced aircraft powered entirely by Russian-made engines is a powerful statement. We don't need to rely on others, we create our own future, and this jet is the symbol of that future. What do you think about what this aircraft brings to the table? Is it enough to earn the same preference you've given to Western jets? Let us know your thoughts. Although full of promise, the Il-9640 million still faces a challenging journey, requiring not only advanced technology, but also long-term political will and strategic commitment. First of all, to realize this ambition, the PD-35 engine, the focus of this new performance standard, must be completed on schedule and meet the necessary reliability. Developing a new aircraft engine is no simple feat. It requires years of research, substantial investment, and rigorous testing. The goal is to bring the PD-35 into service by 2025, but this timeline is ambitious. Designing a high-thrust engine comes with a host of complex technical challenges, from optimizing thermal efficiency to ensuring durability under extreme conditions during long-haul flights. Furthermore, international certification remains a major hurdle, as the engine must meet stringent global safety and performance standards before it can be deployed commercially. But that's not all. A leap in design like this aircraft also demands the development of a composite wing, a technology that's far from easy to master in a short period, especially when much of the supply ecosystem is still in the process of recovery and localization. Notably, current political decisions are not in the aircraft's favor. Given tight budgets and shifting strategic priorities, the Russian government has decided not to allocate funding for the certification and mass production of the Il-96-400M. Instead, focus has returned to the older variant 300, a more familiar model for the domestic aerospace industry. Although the total cost to complete the development program and produce six Il-96-40,000M is estimated at only around 50 billion rubles, that figure still poses a burden under current conditions. As a result, the future of this aircraft remains uncertain. In the Comprehensive Aviation Development Plan approved in the summer of 2022 and revised in 2023, the Il-96-400M is not mentioned at all. Instead, the plan includes the production of 12 Il-96 300 passenger aircraft over seven years, a process that is itself proceeding slowly at the VASO factory. It's not just about the Il-96 400 million. In an interview with RIA Novosti at the end of the year, the Russian deputy prime minister revealed that in addition to the Il 96000 400, the government is conducting research and development on a brand new next generation wide body long haul aircraft, which is expected to be created after 2030. He added that in the future, this aircraft could be used to carry passengers, but before that, an optimal engine thrust solution must be chosen, possibly 26, 35, or 38 tons. According to him, designers, engine manufacturers and pilots are currently working together on the project and once the final design of the demonstrator aircraft is completed in March they will have a clearer direction on how to proceed there's still a lot to look forward to in the future of Russian aviation so what do you think about this aircraft share your thoughts with us thank you and see you next time